Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video and today we got Watkins Glen International so this is a brand new track in Gran Turismo 7 and I just wanted to give you kind of my insight on this track and what I think it's important and also you need to get 1.2 million for completing the circuit experience it's relatively easy maybe even getting it all of the bronze is not so hard but the goals are quite sketchy especially the second sector so i just decided to uh, make this guide and you know help you a little bit so let's go into the track guide Getting 1.2 million on this track, getting all the bronze and all of the golds here. So circuit experience, we're gonna start with the sector number one. So 12.2 seconds for reaching the gold and I found it relatively easy to get through the first sector. I mean, it's just one corner, really, just a straight uh, one breaking point in one corner is the 200 meter or feet sign here in the US. So breaking the straight line until you reach the 100 meter sign, last board, you're looking at the last board there on the left and then I downshift in into second gear. I probably could have stayed in third, but just make sure that you stay with two tires on the curb and everything will be okay. It's gonna be easy to get the gold here. 11.5 and 0.7 seconds of advantage. I, I think it's gonna be relatively easy to do. So this one is not so easy, uh, especially through the chicane. It it's quite sketchy if you get uh, the back loose. So I'm breaking at the 200 meter sign, free to the 300. It always depends. And I try to cut it as much as I can, but do not leave the track with all four tires. So two tires must always stay on the curb, no matter what. And also this curb, it's the first one that I usually use for kind of trying to tap the brakes, not more than tapping the brakes. With some cars, it's gonna be all about just coasting a little bit and then flooring it when you reach this point. So I love New York, that's the point. And also I could have used more track there on the left, so I could have used a lot more. So 150 meter sign in here, so in between the 100 and the 200, and I kind of overshot this one. So I think it's better that you stay on the curb and you know stay with the curb and then put it uh, you know put the throttle down as you exit you may want to use kind of a wider line in there but it always depends on which car and you know what what lines are you trying to use in this one it's going to be it's going to be tough to find the perfect lines here so 100 meter sign here third gear and a little bit of short shift i mean not really short shifting but i always try to approach the exit of the turn in third gear so you may want to prepare the car in third and then put the power down. So second is quite sketchy, but third, it's going to be relatively easy to get out of there in third. So just a little bit of that upshift, uh, a little bit earlier upshift and you're going to be okay. So another very, very similar turn and a very similar sector. So I'm reaching this point. So it's when you probably at the 150 meter sign, you try to see the tire marks and the tire marks are quite... Not so easy to spot on some weather conditions, but this one was kind of easy to get through. And also try to stay with two tires on the curb, at least touching the curb. 120 meters, break slightly in the straight line and turn in. So I use a little bit of trail braking, maybe about 20%, not more than that. I got on the power relatively early, but it was it was good enough i got i got the back loose a bit of, but it was okay in the end so 200 100 meter sign 100 meters this is where you release the throttle let the car coast and then put the power down and of course use as much track as possible and also i'm gonna do something like this and here i found it relatively hard to get to the apex because of the camber of uh, of this corner so it's i don't think it's so smart to touch the curb it's going to, because you're gonna get just a little bit of extra rotation that it's not that necessary but it always depends which car are you using and which car you know do you like to drive in general so now we're gonna skip and go to this full lap guide i'm just gonna comment right there so 200 meter sign i break there i used a little bit more curb the car got so sketchy on the way out i mean i lost i kind of lost the rear but it's in my opinion best to get late as late as possible uh, entry because you want to carry the speed on so this long straight so it's kind of so not really strength it's kind of a section a couple of corners but it's really really important to carry the speed 200 300 to 200 just you know cut it as much as you can as you can see i was cutting it way 
too much uh, later part of the turn. I think I lost it a bit there, so... Huh, it's gonna be hard. It's definitely gonna be hard to take the perfect line right there, but now 150. I took the same line, but got to the late apex. So I kind of changed my approach and then got, uh, you know, the late apex here. But then, once again, touching the curb, staying as close as I can to the curb, and then on the power in third gear, which I believe is important. Maybe second, if you can get it in second, that's going to be interesting but i think third is the way to go so here second gear on the way out third but just be careful that you stay on the track it's so easy it's very easy to use too much of the track once again we're going to be reaching this point and third gear on the way out this time the car got sideways i mean i was i was really trying to hold on to it and you know eventually i did it so here just a quick lift and of course use as much track as you possibly can onto this point we're using the same references every single time so it's all about car control in the end but you know this is a, probably a very very good margin almost two seconds so 1.5 seconds and i think it's gonna be pretty easy to get the gold here so guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please smash that like button and if you really want to you can even subscribe to the channel so once again thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time bye